All right, in this video, uh, we're gonna, going to attempt to measure uh, the input and output of this pendulum uh, lever oscillator system. Uh, it's very difficult to do, but uh, we'll get to that here in a second. But before we move on, I want to, I left a few explanations out in the previous videos about the pendulum and the lever. The pendulum, well, let's start with the lever. The lever is right here. There's the fulcrum. And so the lever is a unity device minus the small loss right here which is uh, very neg negligible in the friction is all it is so what you put into the lever is what you'll get out basically so the lever is a unity device the pendulum i like to call the pendulum an over unity device okay but the energy is trapped inside the pendulum obviously if i pull this up let's say this is a ton of weight and i pull it up to certain distance let it go gravity does work because it it increases in potential from potential to kinetic which is an acceleration so that's work done and then on the other side it decelerates which is work being taken away because it's having to go against gravity but it does practic practically the same amount of work then when I first lifted it up so uh, and then of course the lever extracts that energy so let's get on straight to the uh, measurements now it is very difficult to measure this thing the best way to measure this is while the pendulum is swinging that's the best way to do it it's too it's too difficult to uh, just start at a certain height pull it up and measure the gravity and mass and, and all that and that that affects this over here too because at, at one point when this slows down this no longer goes up and down so everything has to be going and so I will attempt to do that so right now I'm using uh let's see where did it go oh where did it go there it is I'm using these uh, these things are wonderful I <laughs> could not find these anywhere except one place here in this city but they seem to work very well I tried different ver different methods I tried using these uh, but they are too sensitive the weight getting the weights to pull the trigger there uh, it was too sensitive uh, I tried using these tubes and they gave me, you know, these heater tubes or rubber. They gave me sort of an indication, but again, it was very hard to set up on here. And so, so far, this is what I managed to be able to uh, get in there. And so right now I got the weight lifted. So you can see, let's see, get that in there. This goes down into the wood here to about this depth. And so right now it's set on zero on that little rubber ring. That little rubber ring is like this rubber ring right here. And so I'm going to have to set this down, the weight on that, which makes it about 7 pounds. So we're going to have to start at 7 pounds. So let's attempt to do that right now. Let me put this down for one second. All right, and we're going to gently put this down. Just like that and what that does is it pushes it down to about seven pounds you can't see it right now but I'd show you but I gotta lift this whole thing back up and we got to get a move on on this so another thing we're going to have to do is pull this up and let it go for one cycle once this way and once this way and then we'll be done so let's do that and there's the uh i don't know if you can see it from back here but our measuring instrument is back there so let's try to do that pull it up 
and you can see pulling it up is already squashing it down but this is to simulate the best we can one cycle as it's already swinging so we're simulating it this as it's already swinging so if i push this down about right here there we go we did just one cycle and here in a second we'll use that measuring instrument to uh, measure the input but if we take this off kind of put it over here now we should be able to see this went up all the way to let's see if we can get a good uh if i can read it that's kilograms pounds okay so that's pounds and it went up to what 20 i can't read this it's got light reflecting on the screen there we go about 20 pounds right there and i've seen this little, little rubber ring actually go all the way up the 30 pounds because there's a this is spring loaded so it's actually helping this go up and down. This this pushes it up and down and can create a pretty good force all the way up to 30 pounds. So from here, I'm kind of like set this back a little bit better now. Uh, actually, if we pull that down, we can get that to settle a little bit better. All right, so now we're gonna measure the input and that was over about an inch or two of height as you've seen earlier so now we'll just pull that back get this going like i said you have to measure this as it's going and we just simulated it with one cycle a second ago so there we're getting it up there and this is even without the help on the output of one of these so as you can see it's starting out on zero there with the rubber ring so let's do this well I already did it too much but uh so I'm trying to get this to be about one inch oh there that's good enough and this is over several cycles like I said it's hard to do everything all at one time but here we've got over about an inch or so too as well that's kilograms let's go over here there's pounds about five six about seven pounds right there over about a one inch period of distance there over here we got this to be all the way up to what was it 20 pounds ah let me get this turned around there's the pounds about 20 pounds so let's track that 20 from 7 which is what what about uh, 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 about 13 pounds per the same amount of height and about seven pounds going in not too dramatically there but uh, like I said it's very difficult you have to be doing this all at the same time I suppose I could put this back and uh, here, let me pull this up, get that back under there. All right, so if we put this ring back down, here, I got, I have to lift it up a little to get the rubber ring all the way down. All right, so now it's settled on about seven pounds. I don't know if you can see that in there or not, but it's, it's it's seven pounds. So we can actually start. Um, gonna have to pull this down as well. We can actually start there doing this. So we could do it this way as well and just get that going up and down there on the lever weight and it seems to be doing okay there 
Then right here, we can push a little bit here, about an inch or so. Let's see how high we can get this. There we go. Uh, that's about as best we could do on this. There, I pushed it a little too hard. Well, that's really doing it now. So there, let's stop it. Let's look at what we got here. We probably got a little bit more pounds than what we're supposed to have, but yeah, see, so went to about nine pounds. Nine pounds. And that's going over a little bit. I, I, I felt that I pushed it a little too hard. Let me come over here and let's take a look at this. And we got subtracted seven all the way down the difference to seven pounds. So now we've got about oh can't see this all the time pounds right there and we got to about 22 pounds let's subtract seven from that which is 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 about 15 pounds over you know about an inch or two of height and about seven pounds or nine pounds right here so not not too bad and that's me pushing it just a little too hard so hopefully those measurements are are good enough uh, like I said it's very difficult trying to measure all this at the same time but it has to be going and that's the best we could do is measuring it while we were doing it and we tried it by simulating it already you know it, of course it takes a lot of energy at first to get into the system once the system is going and it's doing work after a period of time you can disregard the energy that it took to get into this because it's all stored in the pendulum now so uh i hope that was a good measurement